are making a delicious dessert here for the holidays. We're joined by a familiar face, Una Williams from Royal Temptations. Thank you for being here today. I love the name of this dessert. What's the name of the dessert? Kahlua Tipsy Cake. Uh, Kahlua Tipsy <laughs> Cake. All right. Yes, and you nearly fell on the floor tasting it with the amount of Kahlua well, in it. You're supposed to tell the viewing audience. Well, that, yeah. you know, then you can see it's truly yeah. tipsy. You know, I mean, tipsy is a very nice, polite word for being sloshed or drunk. <laughs> Or the other words, you know. So let's get to how so you let's make get it. To okay, it. Yeah. Well, this one is gluten free. Um, and as I was saying to you, I, I did the wheat one years ago with Erin mm -hmm. on Cook's Corner. So the, the wheat flour version is on my um, Royal Temptation site, so you can easily find it. This is very simply it's the gluten free flour, and I use Pamela's, and okay. butter and sugar. If you can't have butter, I use Earth Balance. So just the ordinary ingredients for an ordinary gold cake. Okay. With I also put um, instant coffee in it with some water to make it coffee tasting. I oh, put really? cocoa in to make it a bit of a mocha. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. Well, that's because you can't cook, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So then I put it in a bunt pan for about half an hour. When it comes out of the oven, it's two to two and a half cups of either an instant coffee or a real coffee with sugar syrup and Kahlua. Okay. And you literally saturate it, and it's. You want to see the liquid coming out because it's wonderfully, wonderfully moist. Wow, okay. And then it's got cream on top with some Carolans, which is a, a gluten-free version of Bailey's, and then okay. just some nuts. If you're doing it for a big party, do a big bunt and decorate it like this. That's very nice. Um, a very nice look to it. Yes. Yeah. And, and, you know, put anything in a bunt pan, it looks nicer than a loaf pan anyway. <laughs> That's and true. And then, you know, if you're just otherwise doing it, don't put cream on, just cut slices as you need it and decorate it because it keeps a lot fresher. Did you make a little face down there too? Well, I thought it looked more like a heart or something. It was meant to be a little chocolate Christmas tree, but it didn't look very nice when I took it out of the pack. So <laughs> I you think have it to looks imagine great. it. Yeah. But, you know, this is one of the Recipes in my gluten free cookbook, Delicious Gluten Free Cooking, as we were saying. Yep. That's a, a disc or an e book, so it's just $20. You can get me on cooking with Una at yahoo.com. So if you're looking for a nice gift idea? Yes. It's over 200 pages. It's not just baking that's gluten free. It's soups and salads and entrees. It's Yorkshire pudding, which is American popovers. There's English Yorkshire trifle, okay. tiramisu, toll house cookies, waffles, pancakes, and, you know, Gordon beef and gluten free beer, all sorts of well, delicious right. Do I can things. I memorize all these? Well, you can just go to my Facebook page. If you actually go to royaltemptations.com, it's on the front page, and you can see all the photos and the list of contents and everything. Oh. And you all know my food's good. I wouldn't uh, be in here otherwise. I taste it is very good. All right, you know. Williams, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Maybe we'll be doing this cake again in a few years. Well, we can do an orange <laughs> version, a berry uh. version. Well, we'll have all more versions uh, then, won't we? We've got a lot of work to do. We'll be right back.